long, long time ago, in a beautiful and a very peaceful village in West Africa, lived a young blind boy by the name of Orobosa. Orobosa lived with his parents and four-year-old sister. They lived on a rich man's land. Their grass-touched huts, but at the end of a row of trees. When Orobosa was three years old, he fell sick and lost his sight. Orobosa was a very, very talented boy. Indeed, he was. Orobosa did many things that other six-year-old boys could not do. He could sit with all the members of the village and discuss important matters. Orobosa's parents worked at a rich man's house. They left home early in the morning and returned late in the evening. Orobosa was left with his little sister. Oh, Orobosa loved to sing songs. One day, his mother asked him, Where do you learn these songs from, Orobosa? Orobosa answered, They just come, mother. I hear them in my head, and then I sing. It gives me joy. Orobusa liked to sing for his little sister, especially if she feels angry and hungry. His sister would listen to him singing his favorite song. She would sway to the soothing tune of Orobusa's melodic music. Can you sing it again and again, Orobusa? His sister would beg him. Orobosa would accept and sing it over and over again. One evening, when his parents returned home, they were very, very quiet. Orobosa knew there was something wrong. What is wrong, mother? Father? Orobosa asked. Orobosa learned that the rich man's son was missing. The man was very, very sad and lonely without his son. I can sing for him. He might be happy again, Orobosa told his parents. But his parents dismissed him. He is very rich. You can only a blind boy. Do you think your song will help him? No, son. Don't worry about it says his mother. However, Orobosa did not give up. His little sister supported him. She said, Orobosa's song suits me. When I am hungry, they will suit the rich man too. The following day, Orobosa asked his little sister to lead him to the rich man's house. He stood below one big window and began to sing his favorite song. Slowly, the head of the rich man began to show through the big window. Orobosa, Orobehio, Orobunamure, Orobosa, Orobehio. Robunamura <laughs> The workers stopped what they were doing. They listened to Orobosa's beautiful song. But one man said, Nobody has been able to console the boss. 
Does this blind boy think it will console him? Orobusa finished singing his beautiful song and turned to leave. But the rich man rushed out and said, Please sing it again. At that very moment, two men came carrying someone on a stretcher. They had found the rich man's son, beaten up and left on the side of the road by evil kidnappers and wayward boys. The rich man was very happy to see his son again. He rewarded Orobosa for consoling him. He took his son and Orobosa to hospital so Orobosa could regain his sight. The doctors worked on Orobosa and Orobosa could see again. He was very, very happy and began to sing his beautiful melodic song. Orobo sao, orobe hiyo, orobo namure, orobo sao, orobe hiyo.